Hey everybody, and I am back with the coating array. Um, I reviewed this product a few months ago, and I have some more to say about it. So basically, this board, to, to kind of summarize, is an Arduino board, and it has a bunch of sensors and a display that are all pre-wired. And the idea is that you can learn how to do the programming part of the Arduino without having to worry about the wiring. But then as you grow and as you learn more, you can hook up additional sensors to these pins here and disable some of the ones on the board and, and, and kind of expand in those directions. And then once you expand past that, you can take this little tool and you can use it to break these sensors off of this and use them independently in your other projects. So I had some opportunities to interact with the people who make the coding array and they're just, they're really cool people. And so I wanted to see what I could do to kind of give back to the community. So the first thing I did was I went through, especially the big sketch that kind of has everything working at the same time. And I did a little bit more commenting and a little bit more explaining about what the code does and all that kind of stuff just to help. The second thing I did was I made a Git repository and I basically made a place where as you come up with ideas for the project and as you come up with sketches and cool things that you do with coding array, you can share it there. And the third thing I did was I created something called interactive mode. And so right now this is the complete sketch for the code array. So if I move this little thing, these move and I'm reading the temperature here and I'm reading the humidity and I can take this little disc here and, and I'm gonna read the ultrasonic sensor and, and all that stuff. So it's, it's working, it's doing, you know, it, it's doing what it's supposed to do and, and all the code is there for that. But the real magic happens when I fire up Node Red. So if I go to my computer and I type in Node hyphen Red, Node Red will start, and I can minimize this. And I have all these flows things here, but that's that's not really what we're worried about. We can come here to the dashboard, and so now all of a sudden we are this thing is rebooted, and we're we're sitting here we're going to get a little bit of information we're going to get the temperature and we're going to get the sound level but the real real magic happens when you take the magnet and you put it over this hall effect sensor and so what happens is interactive mode is activated the screen goes blank and all of a sudden all of this stuff up here begins to work and so you can come here and you can move the little slider and this graph is going to show you the position and of the of the little uh, servo motor you're getting your live temperatures we're getting the indoor brightness so if I were to cover over the sensor that thing changes to dark we have our voice thing jumping up and down we can come in here and we can type in hello oops if I can type type in hello and world and you will see that those words come on the screen right here we can do math so I could come in here and type in five star five and the screen is going to show us 25 now i wouldn't recommend using this code in real life but it works there we can come and turn on the red led and then we can drag the blue around just as an example how to use multiple inputs we can drag the blue around and change the colors we can mix these together we can turn this off we can do all kinds of things we can play mm, 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 mm. I'm not very musically gifted, but you can play the Mario song. You can turn on the single LED for a couple of seconds. You can do all kinds of interactive things. And it's it's just kind of opens up a whole new world of understanding what this thing can do and how to make this interact with the real world. Now, on top of that, you have access to the entire Node-RED palette, which means we have all these built-in things. We can deal with files and we can make API calls to the weather channel and weather maps and things like that. We can you know, do all kinds of stuff over here. We could come to the palette manager and we could type in A-L-E-X-A -E and we could interact with her and we can make it so that when you push a button, maybe she says something or all kinds of stuff like that. You can do one called say, node rib, red contrib say, and you can do text to speech, so you can make it speak the temperature and, and all kinds of things like that. But basically, there, there's really no limit to what you can do both on this board itself 
and in interacting with the real world once you have connection to node red and we can come in here and we can drag this touch sensor up to this little thing here and deploy and once we deploy the coding array will reboot because it is getting the new code and making a new serial connection so we're going to let it boot and then we're going to grab our magic magnet and we're going to hover and we're going to go back into interactive mode now you can set it up to boot in interactive mode if you want to but now if i come in here and touch the touch sensor it's going to turn the lights off on my desk for five seconds or three seconds and then turn them back on and so Basically, the point of this video is not what I can do with Coding Array. It's what can you do with Coding Array? What kinds of things can you do with this new interactive mode? What kind of real world projects can you make that will take this just from being confined to this space into an actual usable project that will do something fun for you? So I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you've tried Coding Array, I'd love to hear about it. Check out the GitHub, submit your sketches, all that kind of stuff, and thanks for watching.